Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Sean from Promotion TV, and in this episode, I got my man here, Akil from Ottawa, Ontario, just repping it in the basement, doing it classic style like how we used to do back at school and university. Blah, blah. Yes, sir. Keep so, keep what went down today, boss? What went down today? Wow, it was kind of big things, you know, a bit of a big event. Mm -hmm. um, yours truly, thank you, was turning 33. The big zero. three oh. Three, three oh. Zero, I think it's like that. Okay. So, you know, I want to do it kind of big, mm -hmm. you understand? Get my family and friends together, bring in that milestone kind of big light. So, we did it, you know? Mm -hmm. It was nice. My man here was kind of a bit of a surprise. I didn't yes. know he was coming, so that was a good thing. Yeah, I kind of just showed up randomly, you know, at the bus station, and I was calling his wife. I was like, yo, you know, I'm at the bus station. And no response. So that happened for maybe like a good hour and a half before you know somebody was able to come pick me up. Yeah. So for you guys that are actually watching um, this channel and are brand new to it, you guys will know that usually I do like review type videos and promote YouTubers. But this time I just decided to do it a little bit differently, um, just to kind of relax a little bit and you know just kick it back here with my boy. Like I said, like how we used to do it back in the day. We actually went to college together. Yep. University together. Big ups. Right? We made a lot of rap tracks together what? as well, too. So you guys don't even know that. You guys don't even know that I rap. So you guys better watch for the new intro as well. I'm going to be working on a couple of stuff with DJ Viper Vex. All right. And I'll probably go hit up a couple of other individuals as well, too. Yeah. To see what we could get down and dirty for this, uh, for this intro. Yes. Sir. All right. So, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take this video and I'm going to make it a little bit more about you. Oh my right, goodness. a little bit more about my boy right here. Oh you guys man. can check out his channel, uh, what right here? Yeah, well, right, right okay. there. Somewhere. Check out the channel right there, or okay. somewhere on the screen. All right, somewhere on the screen. All right, so tell the good folks out there right now um, in promotion on TV land a little bit about you, oh right? Because they they know quite a bit about me. So what about you? Oh my goodness! Honestly, I started on YouTube just writing up little 500 character raps on on uh, like instrumentals, popular mm. instrumentals. You know what I mean? I just had fun with it. You know, just write a little little rap, little thing or whatever, mm -hmm. people would start to comment like, oh, you know, that's kind of dope, that's hot or whatever, oh, that sucks or yeah. whatever, and I was like, ah, oh, whatever, man, I just keep on writing my little raps, and, and then someone's like, yo, man, do you have some videos, and so, you know, I sort of threw up some videos, it, mm -hmm. it, it's really just me having fun, you know, I'm not trying to make any kind of serious statement in mm -hmm. the music industry or anything But that's the like thing that. about YouTube though, I mean YouTube really is all about fun. I know that some people they, you know, make YouTube videos and they make it, they try to make it all serious and things, but really man, if you're not having fun on YouTube, yeah. you shouldn't be on YouTube, you should just get off right now. This is true. Get off YouTube it's if you're not, not YouTube. planning on having fun. That's right. On YouTube. So with these raps, they weren't like corny raps like, yo, I saw a cat and I put on my hat and then I took a baseball bat and then I hit it like that. It's flat. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know what? I don't know. As I said, I just sort of have fun with it, you know? Sometimes, like, for example, around election year when Obama was coming in, mm -hmm. you know, I wrote a little something on Obama. Just just something. Again, you only have, as you know, on YouTube, you only have 500 characters. Mm -hmm. So actually, on that tip, I had to be very sort of creative to express myself fully in 500 characters as a paragraph. I mean, it's not a lot of uh, space yeah, yeah, yeah. to do your thing, you know? So, um... I don't know, it ranges everywhere from like the classic battle attack sort of uh, rhymes to just something mellow, something chill, yeah, whatever's yeah. on my mind, you know. I wrote about my mom's who passed away three right. years ago. I got a lot of love for that, so thank you whoever hit that like button. I got a lot of love for the few verses I wrote up on that. Mm -hmm. But again, really, it's nothing serious. I even had a few a few cats be like, oh, we should do a collab and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I know there's a lot of you in YouTube land out there, you know, trying to do your thing. But, uh, you know, I'm just having fun with it. And my catchphrase is sort of back at it like a crack at it. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> I just get back to it just to have fun. Uh, I haven't put up some recently. Mm. Yikes. But uh, yeah, Slacking on YouTube here, guys. Yikes. He's slacking on I, YouTube. I know. It's, it's not good. Mm. So I know some of you guys are watching this. You're like, what the heck is going on with the tie and the dress shirt and the hat? Well, the hat really is just here to keep true to the whole promotion on TV look. Um, the tie and the dress shirt was, well, simply because it was coming from this dude's, like, ridiculous birthday bash. So, if you guys were in here for you guys missed a great thing. You guys definitely missed a great thing. Big things. Big things. Big things. Big things. Favorite producer? Jeez, a lot of my tracks are inspired. Uh, I use a lot of Ninth Wonder tracks. Mm. Um, and I try, I know YouTube is kind of, you know, they're kind of tight on their copyright, you know what I mean? So, I don't claim them as my own. You know, I just, I just find them. And really, it's, it's actually pretty... It's pretty corny. Like usually, I just play it on the Mac. Yeah. 
I put the speakers loud <laughs> so that the mic can pick it up and I just, you know, rap over it. No, Get I don't a have a mic. Get, Get a production. Hey, that started off in school. Yeah, on that tip. It did. it did. On that tip, this man mentioned we met in school at uh, in Michigan, actually. And, uh, yo, we had this little group that we tried at to form GPC? called Ghetto Productions GPC? Crew for a life. That's what it was. Like, what oh, it was. my goodness. Yo, we would stay up mad late just yeah, writing Just, just writing raps. Just writing crazy raps. Writing raps, raps freestyle. We even performed. Yeah. We yeah, we did. We, we got did. a little bit of props for you. Know? We did. We did. No, actually, they loved it. Yeah, it they was, loved it. It was something, you know. But uh, anyway, it was like that. It's like that. It's sort of. In the, it's actually in sort of the spirit of ghetto productions. You mm. know what I mean? In ghetto production. We just had fun with it. That's that's what we it just is. Had man. fun that's with it. it we just put on tracks. We put on beats. We recorded. We definitely recorded mm. in the room. You know, which is you know, no kind of booth or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> straight out of the dorm room. Yeah, just straight out of the dorm room. You know, real ghetto style. But we had fun, and that's the spirit of it. I think, you know, if you're going to do something on YouTube, you should, I mean, you can make money, obviously. For sure. But have For fun, sure. you understand? Have fun. If it becomes a chore, if it becomes tedious, you're not having fun, mm -hmm. I mean, then, any like anything in life, you don't, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to retool and find mm -hmm. something that brings you joy. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to get a little bit... A little bit deeper here, um, you know, want to get your mind running a little bit. So, I mean, there are a lot of those dudes out there that are trying to get females and they're going out about it the total, a, a completely wrong way. What I think is completely wrong. And they try to drop lines like, oh, did you fall from heaven? Oh, oh, oh. did you, you know, you know what I mean? Dumb stuff like yes. that, dumb stuff like that. Yes. So, I know a lot of our, um, my viewers right now, they're, they're younger guys and, you know, they're, they're, they're at that stage right now where they want to go out there, you know, meet that girl or, or whatever. But you're a married man right now. Yes. You're a married man. Yes. You know? So what was it like for you and, and how did you actually go about getting, quote unquote, those women? Those were the, the woman. The woman. The woman. I mean, I have a quite a kind of unique story because the, the first and last woman that I was with was my wife. So yeah. that's a little unique. But to be honest with you, I can tell you this. Um, uh, how do I start off? I mean, we started sort of a, a casual friendship um, off at school, I actually ended up fixing her computer. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, you know, we started to chat on the phone or whatever. And I remember specifically the, the turning point in what actually formed our relationship was uh, I was actually talking to her roommate on the phone at the time. And I, you know, I was talking, oh, you know, hey, oh, what's up, how you doing? She's like, hey, can I ask you something? I'm like, yeah, no, what, what, what's up? She's like, hey, do you like, uh, do you like Sophie? And I was like, uh, yeah, like Sophie. <laughs> She's like, no, no, do you like, like Sophie? You know, you got to get yeah, the two yeah, likes yeah, in there. Yeah, like, like. Because like, 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 yeah. like. It has to different. be like, like. Because if it's just like, it's like, yeah, it's I like Sean. Like, you know, whatever. It's, it's like, but if you like, like. Then that's, whoa. That's the big thing. You know. That's the big thing. So, okay, she was like, you like, like Sophie? I was like, I was like yeah, you know, I like her. Yeah, I mean, I, didn't, <laughs> I honestly didn't think the question was all that um, serious. I mean, I like, like her, whatever. She's like, okay, you got to tell her she doesn't believe you. Or she doesn't believe us because yeah. apparently they were talking in the room saying how oh this dude like <laughs> like likes you, so they put her on the phone. She's like you know hi, and I mean I didn't say I like like you, but I was like I was like listen you know um I like you I think you're a cool girl yeah. I'd like to get to know you, and she's like oh how do you do see you know, now now friends that that wasn't a line that was straight honesty and I think that's what a girl appreciates you yes. know when you're honest when you're sincere yeah uh, when you're not trying to you know pull any wolves over uh, over her eyes or trying to you know deceive her to any degree if, if you're yeah. if you're real then that will definitely translate in how it is that you approach her and then she'll she'll definitely smell that she'll definitely sense that kind of thing yeah yeah no real talk and um i mean some depending on the age sort of the maturity level of mm -hmm. the of the woman uh, i mean when you put it straight out there from the beginning and say i said this is the thing what is the philosophy that i have i said mm -hmm. okay I hear what you're saying and I respect that. But you could not initially want to do something, but you'd be willing to give it a try. Mm -hmm. So for example, let's say there is like this food that you like, this food that you'd never tried, you know? Like, oh man, I don't want to try that food. You're just looking at it. You're like, oh, I don't, I don't like the look of that food. I don't, I don't think I'll like it, but you've never necessarily tried it. Mm -hmm. You never know, you might be actually willing to try. Like initially you might say, oh, I don't want to, but mm -hmm. as long as you're willing you know open to the idea of trying it so i asked her like are you open to the idea of pursuing this relationship you know what i mean excuse me and, all right, all right, all right. and she said yes and i was like bam that's all i need mm -hmm. i didn't really my concern wasn't whether or not she wanted to at that very moment i'm not saying let's go get married right now i'm mm -hmm. saying can we give us a try and she said yeah so you know what from there um we took things slowly you understand i mean that's that's the thing um 
I think that's lost on a lot of uh, today's generation is sort of just taking things slowly. Yeah. The idea of courtship, like that's an old school word. I sound old. I sound 30. Let me tell you this right now, saying that courtship, <laughs> you know I mean? You don't hear that word anymore. Um, and it's really just, you know, getting to know someone, actually having a relationship and sitting down and talking and talking about your feelings and talking about your hopes, your dreams, your mm -hmm. aspirations. I sound really old right now. I understand that. But I mean, that's all necessary to build that foundation. You understand? True. So, I mean, I'm not going to tell you the whole story of a relationship. That would take, you know, a long time. But, I mean, that was basically it. I was, I, I put my, I put my intentions, on my feelings, I put my intentions out there um, in the beginning of the relationship. So mm -hmm. she knew, and, uh, I mean, she was clear. She knew. I didn't say, oh, yeah, 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 let's be friends. I was like, I want to get to know you. So our relationship was in the context of sort of a more serious, committed relationship. You yeah. And, like, yes, yeah, we yeah. were friends. We formed a friendship. But I didn't approach her as a friend first off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that's that's okay sometimes because mm -hmm. there's a video you and I were talking about this yeah. there's a video out on YouTube right now where it says <laughs> can guys and girls just be friends okay yes now yes. depending on who's watching this guys we're gonna say no okay the girls will say yeah, 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 just yeah, be yeah. Friends. exactly yeah. exactly let's stop fooling around okay you know what the deal is you can't <laughs> just be friends so anyway so when you make your intentions known if the girl says no fine but that's, you know, that's on her. At least mm -hmm. she can't say, oh, you led me on, I felt this, or, you know, you're giving me single signals or whatever. And girls, stop, let women, <laughs> stop freaking, get, stop leading men on. You know you do it. You know, they know they do it. They know it. Hey, dudes do it too. Dudes do, guys, stop that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I saw the same once. I can't remember who it was by. Maybe someone out there knows. If you know it, post it in the boom box post, down there. The, yeah, the post comment in the comment box below. Down there. Okay, if you know the, who this quote belongs to, it goes something like this. Um, uh, girls are crazy. Girls are crazy. But girls are crazy because guys made them crazy. You understand? All right, right? all right. That's okay. a big pair. I just botched that up. I'm sorry, guys. Like, <laughs> the quote is so much better than that. But, you know what I mean? Like, we got to stop taunting the women. Women stop, stop taunting the guys. You know what I mean? Just make sure. You know, put your, put your, your attentions out there mm -hmm. and, uh, you know I mean, hope for the best. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. All right, guys, so really and truly, I mean, this was just, you know, a vlog we decided to put together. There was no rhyme or reason to it. I just figured I'd let you guys see the other side of, you know, Sean from Promotion on TV. And, um, yeah, man, I'm chilling in Ottawa right now. It's bloody yeah. cold. It's ridiculously cold. Canada's capital. Don't yes. let it... Toronto was not Canada's Whatever. capital. No, 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 no. Everybody no. that thinks about Canada thinks about Toronto. That is true. Yes, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. But Ottawa is the capital. We're the true capital. We house the prime minister. Okay? All right, that's fine. President it's, it's, for it's all that American. It's, it's right. going to change pretty soon. It's going to change pretty soon, man. All right, cool, man. So, I mean, Christmas season um, is coming up. Actually, we're in Christmas season right now. Yep. Um, any big plans for Christmas? Uh, not so much. Yeah, you not know what? So much Me traveling. neither. I'm not. I'm not a super big Christmas guy, really. Really. The only thing that I really like about you know this particular time really is the whole idea of getting together with family and friends and stuff like that. Friends. Yeah, oh. family and friends. Yeah, buddy. Tears. Family and friends, where we you know just come in and and enjoy, just just the fellowship, you know. Absolutely. Just getting together, eating food, um, the gifts, whatever. Who cares if you give me a gift? I don't care. Uh, I really don't care. And if you're expecting a gift from me, well, <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry about womp, womp. that. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I'm not really a big, you know, um, I'm not a big celebration type guy when it comes to holidays or anything. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate it, but, um, yeah, I'm not a big celebration no. guy when it comes to holidays. No, uh, that comes with age. When you're younger, you get more excited. Whatever. I guess. Eh, I, guess. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, all right, folks. So this was Sean once again from Promote Sean TV. Uh, Tall, and dark, and handsome. Yep. Right. Check him out. Tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. Yep. Uh, don't expect anything. Just yeah. He says don't expect anything. Comment on his rhymes. Yeah. Uh, or just comment on his channel. Subscribe to his channel if you guys find it interesting. Um, comment on my channel too. Absolutely. If you find me interesting. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. The button is gonna somewhere up here. On the screen somewhere. It's reverse. Some, yeah. yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Also, on our uh, promo on TV, we have we have a subscribe button at the bottom. Absolutely. Well, that, that they could hit over right at the bottom. Here is it? There. Here somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Oh, over there. Yes. It'll be over here. Good. Somewhere. Okay. Good. All right. So this is it once again, guys. Um, check you guys later. And uh, yeah. Peace. Peace. That's it.